some of the footage is quite extraordinary, says Anthony Albanese. He commented, as he commended Australians for their first instinct being to help someone else to any Australian affected by this tragedy. Every Australian is with you, says Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister of Australia. Now, uh, I just want to remind ourselves of some of the news that is breaking in Australia in the last couple of hours. Five people have been killed, several in critical condition. This is a shopping centre near Bondi Beach in Sydney. Uh, I just want to play once again that clip of uh, the, those very, very brave men who helped uh, assist uh, a baby who is currently in hospital and they talk through what happened. Let's play that. So the baby got stabbed and, and yeah, the mum got stabbed and the mum came over with the baby and, and threw it at me and just holding the baby, yeah, it looked pretty bad, but yeah. And how were you able to help out? It just helped us holding the baby and trying to compress the baby and same with the mother, trying to compress the blood from stopping and calling ambulance and police. That would have been pretty horrific to see. What were those injuries actually like? Oh, very bad. There's a lot of blood on the floor and... Yeah, hope, hope, yeah. The, hope, hope the baby's all right, yeah. You've just been called a hero. I can imagine it's a pretty traumatic afternoon it was, for you. It was, yeah, it was. Where were you this afternoon? How did it actually unfold in your eyes? No, we were just shopping. Shopping, saw the man run up to the woman with the baby and then we were both ready to go and help out. But I just said to my brother, we've got to run in, ran in, told the guys to just lock up the doors and then the mother came with the baby bleeding stabbed and we got them into the store and just got them safe and then rang for, for help and, and what what did you use to help stop the blood i oh, just shirts just, from the shop just kept yelling out to get some clothes get some shirts and and just just help us to compress and and stop the babies from bleeding and, and what sort of condition was the actual baby? We understand it was a nine-month-old. Mother holding mother. the baby so well and really compressing. I think the baby's fine. The mother, unfortunately, me and another lady, which were compressing, she started to have a lot of blood coming out of her mouth. And and so what? Do Well, that was an interview uh, with Channel 9 in Australia uh, talking to some people who had helped a baby in that horrendous situation that was in a, uh, a, a shopping centre the first day of the holidays. People out on a Saturday afternoon in Australia uh, who were, we can see some of the pictures there if you're watching on Talk TV, uh, chaotic scenes, loads of police and ambulances and so on of course we know that the uh, perpetrator has been shot dead or who we think the perpetrator has been shot dead Anthony uh, Albanese who is the Australian Prime Minister is holding a news con or was holding a news conference until a few moments ago we'll bring you a clip of that as soon as we can the scene was one of shocking violence he said but also witnessed heroism uh, of the first responders police and civilians some of the footage is quite extraordinary as he said he commended Australians for their first instinct being to help someone else to any Australian affected by this tragedy every Australian is with you. Well, I think we can also say that every British person is with Australia at the moment. Mick in Wallington has been in touch and says politicians and authorities are no longer prepared nor capable to protect the public from terrorism and criminal societies. Um, we don't know what is behind this. We don't know the motivations of the uh, knife man. We do know he is dead and apparently the threat is now over. Uh, we'll of course continue to cover this throughout the programme. We hope to speak to another reporter a bit later in the programme and of course we'll bring you some uh, updated uh, uh, footage and uh, clips from that press conference of Anthony Albanese, the, the Prime Minister of Australia, in just a few minutes. Uh, well, in the studio with me are Jack Rulett, who's a political commentator, and Lauren Belcross, who's a former Labour advisor. We'll talk mainly political things in a second, but Jack, just firstly your reaction to what is happening in Australia this morning or this evening with them. Well, it's appalling. It's one of those stories that just gets more horrific the more comes out about it. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good to hear that uh, he's dead now, the attacker. Um, and thoughts with, with all those people in Australia who are affected and, and their families. Great heroism, Lauren, of course, Bondi Beach, very, very well known, uh, a part of um, part of Sydney. And of course, there'll be many expatriates as well who are, who are out there, many people in gap years and travelling and so on. I have some relatives who live not a million miles away in southwest uh, Sydney. I'll be checking in with them this morning and so on. They'll be th This is affecting Sydney, Australia, but it's affecting the world as well because Sydney is such an international city. Yeah, no, like you say i've had to check in with a few of my mates um to check that they're okay it's absolutely horrific and you heard the detail there in that reporter's uh, piece about a baby being stabbed i mean the sort of savagery that 
the, this attack is unleashed. It's really, really horrible. And, you know, where does one even go to describe it? It does kind of say, you know, it does introduce a worry that, you know, when this could happen here and how easy it is for a perpetrator to do something like yes, this. Yes. Uh, it's just done their thinking about. 